In this video, I am going to analyze Amara Raja batteries. Uh, I am going to compare this company with the other group companies which includes Motherson Sumi, Exide Industries and Bosch. The current market price for Amara Raja is 632 rupees and it is down by 30% from its 52 weeks high. The earning per share of Amara Raja battery is at 28 rupees per share for the last year. For other group companies, Mothers and Sumi EM, uh, EPS is at 5 rupees, Exide Industries earning per share is at 9 rupees, and Bosch earning per share is 541 rupees. These numbers cannot be given any marks. Therefore, what we do is we look at the EPS yield percentage that is calculated by looking at the price and then understanding how much was earned behind one share. So we have EPS yield of 4.4%, meaning on a current market price of 632. The company earned 28 rupees per share, that is a yield of 4.4%. Mothers and Sumi earned an yield of 4.29%, which is very nearby. Even Exide Industries EPS was 4.29, and Bosch EPS was 3.17. So just because earning per share is high does not mean that the company's shares are valued much higher. We have to look at the yield percentage on the earning that the company has come out with. So the highest yield is of Amara Raja. Mothers and Sumi and Exide Industries both have 3 marks each and Bosch would have 2. Let us move on to the 5 years price earning and 3 years historical price earning data. The price earning is basically comparing where the price is in terms of its earnings. What is the multiple that the investors are willing to pay for 1 rupee of earning of the company. So for example if the company earned 1 rupee in the last 5 years then the investors were willing to pay 27 times more for that 1 rupee of earning. So the historical price earning of Amara Raja was 27 times which is very high. I would like the price earning multiple to be below 25 times to, uh, to start buying into the company. The 3 years historical price earning was even higher at 31 times. For every 1 rupee of earning investors were willing to pay 31 rupees to buy that share. Now let us compare this historical price earning with the other peer group companies. The 5 years price earning multiple Exide Industries currently is the cheapest one available but even that is about 25 times. In fact all scripts are about 25 times but the lowest one available is Exide at 4 times at 25 times, uh, Amara Raja at 27 times, Mothers and Sumi at 36 times and Bosch is very expensive at 45 times. Now we have to understand what, why is it so expensive. So we'll look at the 3 years price earning data, historical price earning. The Amara Raja was at 31 times, Mothers and Sumi even higher at 40 times. Historically it has been trading at 40 times or uh, its earning in the last three years. Exide was still at 26 times and Bosch was trading at 50 times. Historically we can understand where the price earning multiple was and where that price earning multiple currently is. So anytime the price earning multiple is above 50, say 25 times it's it's expensive. So we need to wait patiently for the price to fall or maybe the earnings to go up 
if the price is not dropping the earnings has to go up so that the multiple falls below 25 times either of the two should happen either the price should fall or the earnings should go up so that the price earning multiple comes down below 25 times three years historically also we can see all the scripts are above 25 times so still very expensive historically so the cheapest one available available again is excite at 26 times amara raja available at 31 times madarsan sumi available at 40 times and bosch is available at 50 times its earnings very expensive let us look at the current price earning using the latest year's earning and the current price. The current price earning for Amara Raja is below 25 times. It is at 22.35. So for every 1 rupee of earning, we are paying or investors are willing to pay 22 times. And let us compare this with the other peer group companies. Amara Raja uh, is the cheapest script available at 22 times. Exide and Madarsan Sumi are very nearby and Bosch is available at 31 times. Still very expensive even now. So we want the price earning multiple to fall below 25 times. So now Amara Raja has become uh, where we can start investing into this company provided other fundamental ratios are alright. Even Madarsan Sumi has dropped below 25 times. Exide has also dropped below 25 times. Bosch is still very high at 31 times price earning. So we should avoid going buying into this stock at this price multiple. Let us look at the current market price to, to the OCF ratio. OCF stands for operating cash flow. The difference between price earning and price to OCF is that earnings includes all cash as well as non-cash expenditures and uh, in its calculation and OCF only considers the cash coming in out in or going out of the business through its operations it does not include the investment activity or the financing activity of the business so what here we too we would like to see is that like price earning price to OCF should also be below 25 times <coughs> excuse me below 25 times so uh, Amara Raja's price to cash is very high currently at 33 times we would like to see this below 25 times let us look at the other peer group companies Madarsan Sumi is doing very well at 11 times the price earning investors just have to pay 11 times based on its cash earnings Exide is at 34 times which is very high. Bosch is available only at 29 times still very high compared to where it should be below 25 times. So let us just mark it out. This is the most expensive. Amara Raja is the second most expensive. Bosch is the third most expensive and Madarsan Sumi is the cheapest one available at 11 times. Let us look at the current market price to the book value comparison. The book value is also known as net worth or actual value of the share as per the company's records. Book value is calculated when the company sells all its assets and uh, pays off all its liabilities and whatever remains is the actual value which is to be distributed to the shareholders. Now. Price to book value should be below 2.5 times. That is the benchmark where I start looking at entering a company. Amara Raja's price to book value is at 3.2 times, which is quite high. Madarsan Sumi's price to book value is at 3.4 times. Exide is at 2.98 times and Bosch is way too high at 5.5 times. These are very high multiples and uh, if the peer group companies are also trading at a high multiples and if you're interested in buying the company then you may compare it and see which one is trading at a low price to book value 
these three that is price to book price to ocf and price to earning all three are valuation metrics which helps us in understanding where the price is compared to its earnings compared to its cash earnings and compared to its book value this is exide industries is available at most reasonable price to book valuation amara raja is at 3.24 times mothers and sumi is available at 3.43 times and bosch is at a very high extreme valuation of 5.52 times let us look at the pg of 5 years and pg of 3 years for that we will need to look at the profit growth rate of 5 years and profit growth rate of 3 years and compare that with the price earning multiple that we saw previously now pg stands for price earning to profit growth rate so basically we have to compare the price earning with the profit growth rate of the last 5 years and profit growth rate of the last 3 years what this ratio pg ratio helps us is uh, by looking at the price earning we will not be able to understand whether that as a stand alone figure uh, we will not be able to understand whether that is justified entry or not even below 25 times if there is a degrowth in profit then that all 25 times is also not advisable to enter i would i'll just repeat that if the price earning multiple is at 25 times which is our criteria to enter into the stock but if the profit has a degrowth of the profit is decreasing uh, from 5 years back or from 3 years back then that becomes uh, avoidable or we can decrease the entry price from 25 times to even further down to 20 times or maybe maybe 19 18 times depends uh, at what is the profit growth rate or what is the profit degrowth rate so the profit growth in the last 5 years or from 5 years back the profit has been growing at the rate of 9.58% ideally we should like to see a 10% growth rate in profit from 5 years back and even from last 3 years it should generally be growing at the rate of 10% that is the ideal growth rate that we should look for now the pg of 5 years and uh, pg of 3 years is calculated by dividing the price earning of 22 with the profit growth of 5 years that is 9.58 and for pg of 3 years a price earning of 22 is divided by profit growth rate of last 3 years of 4.13% so what we get is a pg of 2.3 and a pg of 5.4 now generally we would like to see a pg below 1.5 and above 0 or between 0 and 1.5 for both 5 years and 3 years that is the ideal number that one should look for as that indicates that our initial capital invested or whatever price earning multiple we have paid that investment can be recovered faster instead of waiting for 22 years we can recover it faster if there is a growth in profit so we take an historical price profit growth rate in the last 5 years and use that as a benchmark to understand where the price earning multiple is and how fast we can recover our initial capital so pg should be below 1.5 times now let us compare that with the other group companies let us begin with the pg of last 5 years mothers and sumi's pg is excellent at 0.74 so that gets the full marks pg of mothers and sumi is good for 5 years that is 2.3 times ideally we should want it below 1.5 but it is high but as a group company it is low exide industries and bosch come very near by each other 
Exide Industries uh, is expensive in terms of PEG. Uh, although we are paying 23 times, we are not getting a growth in profit. We are paying 23 times, but we are just getting a growth rate of 5.9%. In Mothers and Sumi, we are paying 23 times, but we are getting a growth rate of more than that. That is 31% every year from last 5 years. Moving on to PG of 3 years, again Madarsan Sumi is the most economical in terms of price earning, so it gets the full marks. Exide Industries in the last 3 years has recovered much better. For a price earning multiple of 23 times, we are paying, we are getting a growth rate of 8.46% because of which the PEG has improved to 2.75 from 3.94. Exide Industries, uh, after Exide Industries, Amararaja comes next at 5.4 times. Here, what has happened is uh, we are paying a price earning multiple of 22 times and the profit growth rate has decreased to 4.13%, whereas in the last five years it was 9.58%. So there is a degrowth in profit. Now when there is a degrowth in profit or the profit growth rate is reducing, then automatically it will take us more years to recover our capital. So here, finally Bosch uh, is again PEG wise, it's very expensive. Uh, what we can see here is that the current price earning multiple is at 31 times but th there is no growth in profit or growth rate is not that high that 31 times is justified. 31 times is not justified at all. Price earning of 31 times is not justified because we are not getting that growth rate in profit since last 5 years the profit has been growing only at 9.46% whereas in the last 3 years it has been growing at 4.35%. Now let us look at the individual growth rate and give it the markings. The last In the last 5 years or from 5 years back the profit has been growing for Amararaja at the rate of 9.58%. The fastest profit growth was seen in Madarsan Sumi at 31% every year. Bosch had the second highest 9.46% of profit growth rate. Amara Raja had a profit growth rate of 9.58% and Exide Industries had the lowest profit growth rate of 5.91%. Let us look at the 3 years growth rate. The highest growth rate again was in Mothers and Sumi at 21% although it has decreased from 5 years back but it is still very high. Exide Industries managed to grow its profit in the last three years at a higher rate of 8.46%. Bosch had a 4.35% growth rate in profit in the last three years and Amara Raja had a degrowth or decrease in the rate of growth in profit at 4.13% in the last three years. Next, let us move on to the sales growth rate of the last five years and sales growth uh, from three years back. Amararaja's sales has been growing at the rate of 15% since five years and even in last three years it has been growing at a healthy growth rate of 12%. Anything above 10% is a good benchmark to look at. Let us compare this figure with the group companies. In last 5 years, the highest sales growth was seen in Mothers and Sumi at the rate of 17% since 5 years. Amararaja had seen a growth rate of 15%. Bosch at 6, uh, Exide Industries at 8.8% and Bosch was at 6% since last 5 years. 
तो बॉश एज ग्रोन एट अ वेरी स्लो रेट इन टर्म्स ऑफ सेल्स लाइक लुकिंग एट द सेल्स ग्रोथ इन द लास्ट थ्री ईयर्स बॉश हैड अ डी ग्रोथ इन सेल्स ऑफ माइनस वन पॉइंट वन परसेंट दिस इज नॉट अ गुड साइन वी वॉन्ट आइडियली वॉन्ट टू सी अ पॉजिटिव ग्रोथ रेट एंड अ ग्रोथ रेट जस्ट लाइक इन प्रॉफिट ऑफ टेन परसेंट इवन इन सेल्स इफ इट्स टेन परसेंट दैन इट्स आइडियल दैट्स द बेंच मार्क सो द हाइस्ट ग्रोथ रेट इन सेल्स इन द लास्ट थ्री ईयर्स वॉज ऑफ मदर्स एंड सुमी एक्स एमरा राजा इन लास्ट थ्री ईयर्स वॉज ग्रोइंग एट द रेट ऑफ ट्वेल्व परसेंट एंड एक्साइड इंडस्ट्रीज वॉज ग्रोइंग एट द रेट ऑफ टेन परसेंट इट्स इट वॉज ग्रोइंग एट सेल्स एट द रेट ऑफ टेन परसेंट एंड बॉश हैड अ नेगेटिव डी ग्रोथ रेट सो दैट वुड बी द लीस्ट अमाउंट ऑफ मार्क्स दैट कैन गेट Let us check the return on equity and return on capital employed. Return on equity measures what was the profit earned by the company in last five years, and compare that with the equity contribution by the shareholders. And the total capital employed is calculated by adding up the equity shareholders' contribution as well as any borrowed money. from banks financial institutions creditors and so on so these metrics helps us in understanding how well the company has managed to earn profit uh, on the money that was deployed into the business by the shareholders as well as the external borrowings let us look at the roe of last 5 years on average amara raja was earning 22% on shareholders money and 32% on the total capital employed into the business these are very good metrics anything above 15% is the benchmark ideally it should be above 15% let us look at the peer group companies how they have been uh, con- returning the uh, on equity and returning on capital employed what is the profit earned on the shareholders investment and what is the profit earned on the total capital employed into the business Mothers and Sumi was earning twenty five percent on equity and twenty three percent on capital employed. These are again good growth rates. Exide Industries return on equity is fourteen percent and capital employed is twenty percent. On capital employed, it has earned a good percentage rate, but on equity, it has fallen below fifteen percent. Bosch also has managed to stay above fifteen percent on equity and on capital employed, it has earned. well at 23.5% let us just give it a marks now uh, return on equity for the group companies was highest for mothers and sumi amara raja return on equity of last 5 years on average was 22% bosch returned on equity was 16% and exide industries was 14% only below the mark in fact all ratios which are not coming under the benchmark should be given even further uh, devaluation or marking so here we can just mark it as red that it's not a because it's below the benchmark and even this sales growth at a at a degree sales at a degrowth of 1.1% in last 3 years Let us check the ROC. The highest return on capital employed was by Amara Raja Batteries at thirty-two percent since last five years. Mothers and Sumi was has given a return on capital employed of twenty-three percent, and Bosch has given a return of twenty-three point five percent. Exxon Industries has given a return on capital employed of twenty percent. all these ratios are healthy growth rates uh, of above 15% but since the markings have to be given in that order amara raja has performed excellent in terms of capital employed these are quality ratios where it measures how the management has deployed the money it has received from shareholders and the 
borrowings and how well it has deployed to earn higher profits for the shareholders. Let us look at the profit after tax of the last five years and compare that that with the cash flow from operations of the last five years. I've already explained what is cash flow from operations uh, in the previous column. PAT or profit after tax is calculated by removing all expenses, whether cash or non-cash expenses from its total revenue or sales that is generated in that year. So since last five years, Amara Raja Batteries has been earning profit total profit of 2,199 CR. This is the profit it has earned in last five years. Mothers and Sumi has earned a profit of 6,300 CR. Exide has earned 3,000 CR and Bosch has earned 6,600 CR. Now we cannot give it a mark as such because the profit is a uh, derivative of the net worth of the company. The bigger the company, the higher would be its net worth or higher would be its profit also. So what we can do is we can compare the profit earned and the cash flow that the company is showing in the last five years. So we can compare the cash flow from operations with the PAT and here we see that 96% of whatever earnings was shown by the company has come in through cash. So out of the earnings of 2,199 CR, 2,103 CR has actually come in by way of cash. So that is a good sign. In fact, it should be more than what the company has earned as profit. The cash flow from operations should ideally be more than what it has earned as profit after tax. Let us check this number with the other group companies. For Mothers and Sumi, For Mothers and Sumi, it has earned a profit of 6,300 CR in last 5 years against which the cash of 15,336 CR has come in which is around 243% of what it earned as profit which is a very healthy sign. In Exide Industries, out of 3,000 CR company has received 3,251 CR, which is again a very good sign. Almost 107% has come in by way of cash. For Bosch, 105% of the earnings has come in as cash. So all the companies have done well in terms of price to cash. Although Exa, uh, Amara Raja has fallen uh, below uh, what it has earned as profit, but it's very mild. Mothers and Sumi has got the highest cash in, in com, compared to its earnings. Exide Industry has got 107% more than what it has earned as profit. Bosch has earned 105% and Amara Raja has earned 96%. Let us look at the free cash flow that the company has earned in the last 5 years. What is the free cash flow position of the company? Now we cannot give it a marks as such again. So what we do is we compare this free cash flow with the cash flow from operations of the last five years. Free cash flow is the is calculated by not only adding money received cash received through business op operations or spent through business operations, but also include cash inflows and outflows coming from the investment activity of the business. That would include buying and selling fixed assets, buying and selling shares, debentures or mutual funds of the other companies or even investing in its subsidiaries. So here we don't want a free cash flow to fall below 50% of what it has earned through operations or cash flow from operations. The free cash flow for Amara Raja battery was only 59 CR. So out of the 2100 CR that it has earned 
by way of cash. Only 59 has remained, which is just 3% of the total cash flow, which is not a good sign. Madhusan Sumi's cash flow, free cash flow has stood at 29%. Again, not a good sign. It should be above 50%. So out of 15,300 CR earned through cash in the last 5 years, only 4,400 CR has remained as a free cash flow, which is 29% of the cash flow from operations. Excite Industries has 38% of its cash earned through operations as free cash flow. So out of 3,200, it still has 1,236 CR as cash. Bosch has the maximum and above the benchmark of 50% and Bosch has 65% of its cash from operations and it, it still has 4500 CR of that cash which is 65% of the cash flow from operations. So we can give a rating here. Bosch gets the highest rating followed by Exide. Madhusan Sumi has 29% cash, free cash flow remaining with itself in the last in the last five years. And Amaraja has the lowest cash of the last five years. All these three companies should get a red marking because they are below the average or below the benchmark. Next, from five years, we will look at a one year pet and compare that with the cash flow from operations. Initially, we look at a long term picture, then we go to the annual one year picture and then finally we will look at the quarterly analysis. So in this way, we get a broad idea as to how the company was doing in the long term, in the mid term as well as in a very short period. Now, let us look at the average profit that the company has earned every year since last 5 years. The average profit was 439 CR and the latest year's profit, the latest year is 2019, March 2019 data we have. So the latest profit was 462 CR against which the company earned 439 CR or the average profit was 439 CR against which the company earned 462 CR which was 105% of what was the average. So this is above the average which is good. Generally what we want to see is that this year's profit or the latest year's profit should be above the average of the last 5 years. So that shows strength in the profit. Let us check the other group companies have how they are doing in terms of profit after tax compared with the average pet. Mothers and Sumi has earned 137% above the average. So it earned an average profit of 1260 CR in the last 5 years and its latest year's profit was 1721 CR which is 137% of the average. Excite Industries Current year's profit was 114% above the average pet, whereas Bosch was 108% above the average pet. All companies have their profit above the average, which is a good sign. The highest profit earned above the average was by Madhusan Sumi. Exide Industries profit was 114% of what it earned as average pet. Bosch was 108% and Amararaja battery was 105%. Next, we will look at the cash flow from operations and compare that with the profit after tax. Since cash flow cannot be marked or cannot be given ratings, we will compare that with the profit after tax. So whatever cash or whatever earnings the company is showing in its financial in its financial statements that should get reflected into the cash component so here 
the company's profit in the latest year or the last year was 462 CR against which only 321 CR of cash has come in which roughly translates to 70%. So of the profit after tax 70% has come in by way of cash and 30% has not come in maybe because it's a credit sales. Next we'll look at Mother Sumi. Mother Sumi's profit of the last year was 1721 CR against which 3264 CR has come in as cash which is 190% which is very good. Generally this is what we want to see that the cash is coming in and whatever the company is showing as profit is being reflected in terms of cash as well. Exide Industries 74% of the profit has turned into cash which is again a good sign. Ideally we would want to see more than 100 or 100 uh, at least 100 percent of whatever earnings the company is showing turning into cash. Bosch is turning 121 percent of its earning into cash. The highest rating is by Mother Sumi. Exide Industries has returned 74 percent. The lowest return in terms of earnings converted to cash was by Amara Raja Batteries. Next let us check the quarterly sales growth rate and the quarterly profit growth rate. This will show us the latest December or latest March quarter of 2019 and compare that with the March quarter of 2018. So here we get a very short term picture of how the company is doing when it is compared at a three month period. The sales has fallen from the previous quarter by 0.89% which is not a very good sign. Ideally here too we would like to see a 10% growth rate year on year. This is a negative part. Mothers and Sumi sales have grown at the rate of 11%. Exide Industries sales has also grown at 5.6% but Bosch sales has fallen at the rate of 12% from one year ago period. This would also be termed as negative because the quarterly sales has turned has fallen from where it was in the previous quarter. Let us look at the profit growth rate. Although the sales has fallen by 0.89%, profit has grown at the rate of 8.69% from its previous ma March quarter of 2018. So that is a good sign. Mothersons sales has increased but the profit has fallen at the rate of 23% which is not a good sign. So here it's exactly opposite has happened. In Amara Raja sales has fallen mild, mildly but the profit has grown whereas Mothersons Sumi's sales has gone but the profit has fallen from its previous March quarter. Ideally we would want to see a positive growth rate of 10% in profit as well. Exide Industries has managed to grow its sales as well as its profit and it has managed to grow its profit above 10% which is currently at 11.14% of profit growth rate. Bosch had both the profit sales as well as profit had a degrowth of double digits. The profit had a degrowth rate of 16.6%. The highest degrowth in profit was of Mothers and Sumi followed by Bosch Exide Industries had the highest profit growth rate and both Mothers and Sumi and Bosch would have a negative marking because their profit percentage, uh, their profit had a degrowth from its previous year's quarter. 
Next, we'll look at the net worth and compare that with its contingent liability. How big the company is. We can mark the company as per its business size or its actual net worth. The biggest company of the group is Madhusudan Sumi, currently at 10,962 CR. Wash is the second highest, biggest, uh, largest company in the group. Exide Industries is at 5,986 net worth. And Amara Raja's net worth is 3,335 CR. The smallest group company is Amara Raja Batteries. Let us look at the contingent liability. Conting contingent liability should not exceed 20% of the net worth. Contingent liability is a liability which is not accounted for in the financial statement, in the profit and loss account or the balance sheet. These liabilities can arise any time for which it has no provisions have been made. So we don't want a very high contingent liability against the net worth of the company. In fact, it should not exceed 20% of the net worth. None of the companies are exceeding, when we use the ratio here, none of the companies are exceeding its 20% benchmark. So there is no need to give any marking to any of these companies. Let us look at the debt to equity ratio. Debt to equity ratio should be below 1. Anything above 1 is problematic provided the interest cost is well managed well. So we see debt to equity for all three companies Amara Raja, Exide and Bosch at 0 times. Only Mother Sumi has a debt to equity ratio of 1 times which is not a good sign. Anything above that and not being able to protect their interest coverage creates a problem for the company. The more the debt, the more interest it has to pay to the banks or financial institutions from which it has borrowed. All these three companies would get four. Amara Raja would get three because it has a mild debt of 0.01 Let us look at the interest coverage. Interest coverage ratio basically helps us in understanding of the profit earned in this years and what was the coverage of against that profit. In other words, if the pro company has earned a profit for how long can it keep paying its interest in, in the future if it doesn't earn any profit in the future years. So Amara Raja can cover its interest for another 106 years with its current net profit that it has earned in the latest year. So the latest year's net profit can easily cover interest payment of 106 years. So basically what we understand from this is that it is very easy that is the Amararaja battery doesn't have any interest cost as such against what it earned as net profit in this year. So it can very easily cover the interest payment of the future years using this year's net profit. Mother Sumi has taken a debt of one times its equity contribution and it has a coverage of next 8.5 years that is this year's profit can cover the interest payment of the next 8.5 years even though it doesn't earn any profit in the future years assuming that anything below four times is becomes risky to invest into that kind of company where the coverage is not there so here even though the company's debt is one times its equity contribution it has maintained a coverage of 8.5 years which is a very good sign Exide Industries doesn't have any debt, so it doesn't have any interest payments as well. It doesn't have to pay any interest. Same as with Bosch, since it doesn't have any debt, it doesn't have to pay its any interest. So all the profit itself turns into coverage. Exide Industries coverage is high at 187 times. 
Bosch is also high at 177 times. Amadaraja's coverage is also high at 106 day, uh, years. Madhusan Sumi stands at the least coverage of only 8.5 years because of high debt. Next, we'll move on to the promoter holding and the pledge percentage. Promoter holding signifies what is the stake of the promoters in the company or how much interested the promoters are in running the business. So the higher the stake, the better it is. The more interested the management would be in running the business well. Bosch has the highest promoter holding at 70%. Madhus and Sumi's promoters have a stake of 61%. Amararaja's promoters are holding 52% of the company. And Exide Industries promoters are at 45%. All, all the numbers are okay here. None of the companies have pledged much of their shares. Generally, the pledge share should not be more than 20% of the promoter's holding. When the promoters start pledging their shares and if it exceeds 20%, that's a cause of worry because if the promoters don't release their pledge, then the banks will sell off that pledge against which the loan has been taken and the share price will fall. So none of the companies have a high pledge. Only Mothers and Sumi has a pledge of 3.72% which is which is low. So we'll give a marking of 4, 4 and 4 to the three companies which have not pledged their shares and Mothers and Sumi has pledged so we'll just give it 3 marks. Let us look at the debtors to sales percentage. The debtors to sales percentage signifies how much of this year's sales was actually converted to cash and how much was pending to be collected from the debtors. So it basically we from this particular ratio we understand that what percentage of debtors was still pending to be collected when compared to this year's sales. So this ratio we do not want it to be more than 30% that is if this year's sales were 100 not more than 30 should be pending for collection. None of the companies have exceeded their benchmark of 30 which is a good sign. The lowest debtors to be collected is from Mothers and Sumi. So that is the best available in terms of debtors to sales percentage. The lower the figure the better it is. Exide Industries also has only 10% pending to be collected. Amararaja has only 11% to be collected and Bosch has 12.79%. All the companies are doing well in terms of debtors to sales percentage. Let us look at how much in or within how many days the company is collecting payment from its debtors. Amararaja is collecting money from its debtors within 47 days. Rest all companies are also collecting it within less than 60 days. The best collection period is again of Mothers and Sumi. It is collecting within 36 days and uh, Exide is collecting within 37 days. Amararaja is collecting within 47 days and uh, Bosch is the, has the highest collection days of 50, 50 days. Let us move on to the net profit margin. The margin that the company has earned on its sales in the last year that for which we have the data available. So last year the Amara Raja batteries earned net profit margin of 7.7%. This is lower than the benchmark of 10%. Uh, other companies like Mothers and Sumi and Excite Industries also have not managed to cross 10%. Only Bosch has managed to go above 10% at 11.73%. So Bosch gets the highest mark followed by Amara Raja Batteries and Exide Industries. Mothers and Sumi's net profit margin is very low at 2.84 times which would also get a red mark because that is below, way below the benchmark of 10%. Let us look at the dividend yield. What is the yield or what is the return that shareholders are getting? Uh, on their shares in terms of dividend paid by the company. 
Mothers and Sumi is paying the highest dividend rate at today's price or at, at the rate of 1.26%. XR Industries is also paying somewhere around 1.14%. Amara Raja is paying 0.6%. These are very mild uh, percentage rates, low percentage rates. But anything uh, that we get as, is an added bonus for our risk taking ability or risk taking capacity. Finally, we will look at the total score received by each company. The highest score shows the, the company has done well in terms of its ratios. Mothers and Sumi gets the highest score of 91, 91 uh, points followed by XI Industries at 77 point and Amar Raja stands third at 70 points. Bosch has scored the lowest because the valuations are very high. So it, it has not got much marks in the valuation table. It has just got 62 points. Mothers and Sumi can be accumulated because it has got the highest points of 91 followed by Exide of 77. Thank you for watching this video.